the good life full of fun. Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Another big, exciting day in my kitchen. I'm going to tell you why. I got Frank Sinatra 1965, best of Sinatra playing in the background. And salad always comes out better, especially when you're making it with fennel and oranges when Frank's playing. All right, so let's get going. Guys, when you go to Italy and you travel, what you're going to find is not only is each region known for, let's say, a different recipe or a different dish, but even the same recipe often will have different ingredients depending on what time of the season it is. So one uh, recipe, one salad that you'll have you know, late in the summer that is just so absolutely delicious and it's light and it's bright and it's something you have in that, you know, that hot summer day is this recipe I want to share with you. So what we're making today is fennel salad with oranges and I'm going to tell you what, we're going to hook it with some cooking Italian with Joe. Forget about it, goodies. They're going to be mixed in this that I've had throughout Italy and it's just, it really is absolutely delicious. All right, so let's go over ingredients. So number one, you're going to need fennel and I love fennel and there's so many different ways you can make fennel. Uh, you know, you can roast it and grill it and uh, you could saute it. You can puree it in soups, but I'll tell you, it is absolutely fantastic to have in a salad. So I've got one large bulb of fennel. Now listen, you're going to get the fennel and you're going to get these little bit of leaves. Okay, right up on top, we're going to want all of that. We're going to want two oranges. So if you know if you can't get two large ones, you know maybe go with three. But you're looking for something a little bit bigger than the palm of your hand. As far as oranges, you're going to have two of them. We're going to use half of a lemon and we're going to use a little bit of the zest and a little bit of that juice. So we're going to use about half of a lemon. We're going to use one large sprig of, oh, rosemary. I'll tell you if there's anything that smells like Italy. So beautiful. And that goes phenomenal with, um, with meats, but I'll tell you, it goes great with salads. Fresh is filled with a lot more moisture. It's filled with a lot more oils. Uh, and it's going to be a little bit lighter, especially because we're going to have it in the raw here in the salad. We're going to take uh, about a half of a cup or more of olives. I like the Kalamata olives. Um, the, these are pitted. Uh, I've never been a fan when you go to Italy. And often when they have those dishes and they'll have the olives and they won't pit them. And, you know, so here you are enjoying the salad. you got to kind of pit and spit out the, the seed. Oh, almonds love them. So we've got a quarter cup of almonds. I'm going to dice those up. That's going to be delicious. Obviously, we've got some salt, fresh ground pepper, only way to go. You're going to need a nice bowl, something to stir it up with. You're not going to need much here to prep this. You're going to need a knife, essentially. Okay, what I like is a mortar and pestle because we're going to make, man, that'll work out those biceps. Mortar and pestle is going to help you make a nice little salad dressing for this. It's not a must. You can use a bowl and a, and a wooden spoon if you have to, okay? And then last but not least is our olive oil. So I'm bringing you one of the world's greatest recipes of fennel salad with oranges. Why not use some of the world's greatest olive oil, right? And I just happen to know a guy that makes some of this olive oil. I can bring it right to your table, and that's me, Vito and Joe. So for somebody that's new to our channel, I own a farm in Italy. Uh, it's in Puglia, Italy, just above the heel, and we make extra virgin olive oil. We actually co-op with a large group of farms in the area to bring you some of the best olive oil you're ever going to have. True extra virgin. It's uh, grassy, earthy, peppery. Great compliment to any kitchen. I call it a trip to Italy right in a bottle. So if you go on our Facebook page, Cooking Italian with Joe or Vito and Joe's, or you can go to our webpage, or you can click the link right below here, and you can order yourself a large bottle or small bottle, and we will literally drop ship it uh, right to your house. All right, what do you say we get making some salad? Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to make the dressing, and I'm going to tell you why. When I make that dressing in my mortar and pestle, what it's going to do is it's going to get a chance to marry all those flavors while I'm prepping the rest of the salad. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab just a little bit of my rosemary here and maybe a third of my sprig here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab maybe just a couple of my almonds and I'm going to grab essentially my dry ingredients first. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little of my fennel. I'm going to pop that right in there. We're going to hold some back for garnish. Heavy pinch of my salt. And I got some Sicilian sea salt. I'm going to grab some pepper. Full teaspoon of fresh ground pepper. And then last, I'm going to grab some zest. So I'm going to do about a half of the lemon. It's going to give you those oils and that aroma, that perfuma, as they say, of, of the lemon. And then I'm going to grab an orange. And I'm going to put about a half 
of the zest of an orange. And what I like to do is you find when you cook, you're always want, going to want to do layers of flavor. So you're, if you can marry a little bit of what you're going to eat into your dressing in a salad, it just gives you a deeper flavor all the way through. Now I've got all my dry ingredients in here. And I'm going to spend probably a couple of minutes here, tops. And I really want to get this down to a mush. Okay guys, it's been a few minutes here. I just want to show you what that's going to look like. See how it's just like a paste? And that is just nothing but kapow of flavor. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lemon, cut that in half. So now what I'm going to add essentially is your acid. So it's going to give you not too much sweetness here. But this will give you that acid of your dressing. That'll help, help extract a lot of the flavor. So we're going to want to add some olive oil now, Vito and Joe's, obviously. We've got about two tablespoons of lemon juice, so we're going to do it to at least about nine. And this will be enough dressing to take wherever we want to go. Oil's been added, and now I'm going to take my mortar and pestle and just use it now to stir it and really give it a good emulsification here. And that's beautiful. There's your dressing. So I'm going to go ahead and set this aside. Salad dressing is done in the mortar and pestle. I'm just going to let that set. Easiest way to move forward, guys, grab whatever serving dish you're going to use so that everything you cut, you're essentially just going to put right in the serving dish. So here's my salad bowl for today. Frank Sinatra's plan, everything's going great here. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with my fennel. Got some brown on the bottom, so I'm gonna clean that up. Now the key here is one, you need a sharp knife. Two, we're gonna want to cut this fennel nice and thin, because you don't want a big hunk of thick fennel. So I'm gonna just take this fennel, and I'm just gonna give it really nice thin slices. And she's going to break up anyways, you see what I mean? In other words, it's not ever going to come out as one whole piece. If you can get that, not quite paper thin, but closer to that, it's a much more enjoyable experience, I think, to eat the salad. Okay, so as soon as you get down to this part, we're basically done. We're not going to use the stalks, but we do want some of this leaf. So what I'm going to do is just break some of that off that's usable. We're going to use that in the salad. A little bit as a garnish and a little bit as a little texture. So we're not going to need all of it, but you certainly want some of that. I'm going to take all of our fennel, I'm going to put it right in the bowl. And then what I do is I go through it and I want to make sure everything's broken up really nice. So I'm just going to cut these in, these hearts in half. There you go. Again, just so it makes it easy to bite into. Now I'm going to take about a third of what I've got there is my, essentially my leaf. Next guys, I'm going to take my olives. Now again, I want to cut these in half. And these are, like I said, are just great. They've got some nice body to them. Olives are done. I'm going to pop those right in my salad. Next, I got to get these oranges going. So easiest thing I like to do is cut the tops and bottoms off the orange until you get into that orange portion. And then just give it a quick slice. And then they'll peel really easy. And just slice them up in the manner in which you need them. Oranges are done. I'm going to throw them right in here. This next ingredient, we've got our almonds. So what I like to do in the almonds, at least cut them in half or more. And this could take a little bit. I prefer to, to do them by hand. I know it takes a little bit more time. Uh, but I find, again, the, the oils and the aroma are going to be much fresher. If you buy them sliced already, they tend to dry out. Okay, almonds are done. Beautiful. We're going to have little pieces, big pieces. We're going to throw that right in. Okay, next we're going to grab some of our rosemary. What you do here with an herb is just kind of bunch it up and then give it a... Nice slice. Beautiful. Okay, we are really close to being done. One thing I want you to notice, we didn't add any salt to anything while you're making the salad. So here's a tip. You never want to add salt to anything, in this case like a salad, until you're ready to serve it. And the reason being is, as soon as I add salt, it's going to start to pull out, leach out the water, and, and that's why you're going to get water accumulation. So guys, I'm a big fan of flavoring those layers. That's not easy to say. Okay. And uh, so we're going to do that, though, right before we serve it in something like this. Another important tip, make sure you got Frank Sinatra playing. Everything comes out with Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Jerry Vale, Perry Cuomo. You play that in the background, your food's coming out a lot better. I'm going to tell you right now. Next, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So when you subscribe to our channel, uh, any uh, blogging with Boreo, trips to Italy, new recipes, it'll come right to your notification box. And as I always tell people, it means a lot to me when you subscribe to our channel. And hey, makes you part of the Boreo family. You know what I'm saying? And hey, you probably already did. But if not, click that link. I'd love to send you a bottle of our olive oil. Okay, guys, let's put that last bit of flavor. So an important trick is just a splash. 
just a splash, obviously Vito and Joe's, just a splash of olive oil, just like that, like a teaspoon. Then I got my little mixing hands, aren't these cool? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a nice quick little spin. And what that oil does is that helps any flavor, I do the same thing with pasta, any flavoring that I add, it's stick. So now I'm gonna add again, not a heavy pinch of some salt, and then a good half a teaspoon of fresh ground pepper. Now I'm gonna give that a good stir. Okay guys, it's salad dressing time. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that salad dressing that we made and just put maybe half of it on it first, stir it up with my paddles here, and then put the other half in. And then give it that final stir. And then I always like to take that little extra leaf, that little extra sprig of fennel, put that on top as a garnish. So I'm gonna grab a chunk of that. First thing I hit you is that aroma. You know, that anise, the olive oil, the rosemary, you know, you've got the orange. Mmm, my God, it's just gorgeous. Just delicious, just delicious to look at. I'm gonna get the orange, a couple pieces of fennel. Get that olive. Oh, that looks like a perfect bite right there. A little almond. Absolutely delicious. You've got that beautiful orange, lemon, olive oil, rosemary. It's just like pow from the salad dressing. And then you've got your texture of the fennel. A little bit of that sour. From the, from the olive, and then that texture of the almonds. Oh my God. The pairing of the orange with the rosemary, the fennel, and then the olives, you know, it gives you that sweetness with the sour. Just the amount of salt and pepper, it's perfect. I'll tell you, the dressing is fantastic. You get the lemon, the orange and lemon zest, the olive oil, and then you got all the flavors, including the almond, of everything's in the salad. So like I said, it's just flavor after flavor. As you're chewing for it, it's almost begging for the sweetness of the orange, and then you get a little bit of orange, it's just perfect. Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me. Fantastic summer salad recipe for you guys to enjoy your own kitchen. Remember to hit that subscribe button. Love to have you part of the Cooking Italian with Joe family. And I gotta tell you, we're almost at 100,000 subscribers. Warms my heart. Thank you guys so much. Very blessed. Secondly, remember to hit the link above or below or wherever it is here, or go to my Facebook, or go to my website, and grab yourself a bottle of Vito and Joe's olive oil. We'll drop ship it right to your house. Certainly a trip to Italy right in a bottle. And guys, as I share with you all the time, you know, one of the great parts of cooking and one of the things I hope I bring to you in your kitchen is to spend some time with your family. So, uh, you know, shut off the computer, the cell phone, the television, even just for a bit. Surround your table with family. Celebrate your heritage. Set some traditions that'll last you a lifetime. I know they did for me, guys. Hey, for my kitchen to yours, until next week, Good mwah, life bon appetito. Full of fun seems to be the ideal.